There's a ghost town in them thar hills. Good morning from Montana. Yesterday morning we took a nice little dip in the hot springs, uh, which you just saw. It was a fa absolutely fantastic. Just kind of had a catch-up day with uh, edits and everything. Now we got Michael behind the wheel. Yep. Michael is going to be spooked out in about uh, half an hour once we get to the ghost town. Yeah, that's why we're going during the day and not at night. <laughs> uh, by the way, it is the best preserved uh, ghost town in the entire United States. Um, so they say, apparently it's going to be amazing. And uh, yeah, we're just killing time and we're going to pick up those uh, veggie oil parts. Uh, shoot, I don't know, tomorrow or the next day. And then, the land of maple syrup. So we met this really nice naked ho uh, ho uh, hippie at the hot spring and he was eating raw spinach and mangoes in the hot spring. So we were so inspired by him. We got a bunch of uh, fruit and um, vegetables and mangoes we got are absolutely fantastic. And uh, we're just going to channel our inner John. Yes. Yes. Every day we ask ourselves, what would John do? That's right. We saw a little bit too much of John's Johnson as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, John actually, a uh, really smart dude, cured his own cancer by eating raw fruits and vegetables for a long time. Uh, I don't know if he did anything else, but uh, it was pretty amazing. So I'm a big fan of uh, preventative maintenance on the bus. So let's try and do a little preventative maintenance right here on my belly. Is the only thing that is real. It's like a heart with nothing. All right, well, good news, bad news time. We made it up uh, eight miles. Mile markers right there. But <laughs> we have some snow. There's snow in them dar hills. So we don't really know what to do here. I mean, this isn't intense. We could probably make it through this, but we, we just don't know what's up and around the corner. So we're going to. Do a little investigatory journalism. See what we can uh, find out here. If you look straight ahead, no way. half of the road and then it disappears, that's mostly snow. So about three miles away. Do you want to go for a three mile tour? Yes. All right, let's do it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna just pack up and then we'll all hit the road in a second. We'll do a little trekking also. <laughs> There's fresh turnaround tracks here from possibly er earlier today. You can still see the tire treads. So, we're not the only ones turning around here. We are going to be the only ones who hike up. <laughs> yeah, possibly. <laughs> so, we can't find the lock. Anywhere. Anywhere. And the chances of something happening out here are very slim to none. But, my whole entire life is in here. And it's... If it was like the bus had all built out and I could bring like things with me, it's not like people are going to disassemble the panels and take out the solar system. <laughs> all that stuff I was generously gifted from solar companies. So I think we're just going to head back down. Um, stop at a place where I flew the drone, see if maybe it jumped out of the bus. I really don't see that happening and then we'll check the bottom. Otherwise we'll just find ourselves a new adventure. All right, now we're headed uh, towards Great Falls where the packages are arriving. Um, still no sign of the lock, although we were thinking about it, and there's a really good possibility that a ghost from the ghost town took it, so uh, this whole area could be extremely haunted. Let me be the one to hold you 
someplace and uh, just a bunch of farms and uh, you know decent gravel road so we're just gonna look for a place to park we have uh, today and tomorrow to uh, to kill um, before we pick up the package so uh, this could be could be a great number two uh, backup plan and uh, it really there's um every time I'm on the road something kind of pops up or doesn't go to you know, go as planned. There's always something else you can find, for sure. All right, here's a current life status update. We bought a new lock. It was $23. I don't know if that's a lot or a little. Seems like slightly more than the last one. Uh, also, uh, <laughs> uh, Michael was able to uh, pop his air mattress last night, so he was looking for a uh, quick little patch. I'm still inspired by John, the naked raw food hippie, and I'm just gonna eat raw spinach like him. So I have my clothes on. Not bad. I would imagine. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to share the class what you bought? Yeah. So did they know what happened? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I bought this tire repair kit for a bicycle mm -hmm. because the patch kit for an air mattress was like $10, <laughs> which is, as you know at this point, $3 more than this entire air mattress cost. Yep. So we're going to go with this and see if it works. Mm -hmm. uh, if it doesn't, I have no problem sleeping on this wonderful rubber floor. <laughs> so... Oh, is that hilarious? Yeah. Sometimes more the, the the fix is more expensive than the repair. The repair is more expensive than the original item. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I probably would have done the same thing. Boy, Do you need a snack? Food. Yes. Tell me your thoughts on it. All right. Honest opinion. Well, I'm not sure. It's kind of interesting, actually. Hmm. I tried. John says it's good, so I'll keep doing it. <laughs> How's it going back there? You know. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> He's gonna end up on the floor later. <laughs> Amazing drives, most beautiful drives to a camp spot. I think I can remember. I mean, this is pretty outstanding here. We're on the uh, east side of the Continental Divide, which is right up there. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just amazing out here. mountains out here and this is our uh, lovely camp spot um, I don't know about you guys I would <laughs> I would rate this 10 out of 10 we're making good use of this little yeah. ramp while we have it what do you think about this parking spot this is a uh, phenomenal spot <laughs> 10 out of 10 would drive it again. Oh my God, look at that. Oh yeah, so um, the road wasn't too bad. If it's um, rainy, it might get a little sloshy and muddy, but um, if it's not, 
This is, this is the treat that you are in for out here. This is amazing. So, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna make a sandwich and then we'll fly a drone a little bit later. started us a fire thanks dude oh, yeah. <laughs> um, does anyone know what I put on the fire right there I'll give you a hint it comes from these very large animals off in the distance that's right it's a cow patty <laughs> uh, in other cultures this is a good source of a uh, fuel here tonight <laughs> Dry, of course. <laughs> Here tonight, it's just kind of uh, a <laughs> little on the funky side, <laughs> but uh, this is uh, this is present life as I know it on the eastern side of the Rocky Mountains. Here in uh, Montana, absolutely gorgeous. What do you guys think about those drone shots? Yeah, tomorrow morning I'll try and get some more because tomorrow morning that will be all lit up. The sun will be over here. So, uh, still don't have a name for this new bus, but uh, we are breaking it in pretty well and uh, taking it down a bunch of dirt roads. It's handling perfectly. Got a very good bus here. Not too bad, huh? But I suppose you could say that is a shitty fire I have going, huh? <laughs> but uh, pretty amazing. Free firewood, basically. And uh, that'll get us going until we start burning that stuff. It, does, it really it doesn't smell bad though, I promise. We got marshmallows. You want to do some s'mores over the poop? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a sick man. <laughs> hey, this is a real bus life without a converted bus. This Michael is... Uh, so why are you uh, in the hammock tonight? Why don't you tell us all about that? Well, uh, you know, that air mattress fix didn't exactly work out as planned, so we decided to use the hammock. The best, the best part is about an unconverted school bus is we still have the handicap uh, seatbelt racks, so we just used those to rack the hammock up, and uh, yeah, here you go. True story. Right there. That's what, <laughs> that's what we latched it to. That's the, uh, the I don't know, handicap... Uh, anchor point or something so all right that's it for today thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video